He is the right person to be clashing you at this moment. We want your reaction to that. And he has also said that whoever wins this battle should prepare for a bigger dinner. Uh, are you prepared for that? Well, um, I think that, that's a very beautiful question. And uh, all I'll say is um, I think Sami won. Um, it, it has been his wish to clash me for years, you know. So I think he's feeling so sad that I'm going to, you know, kill his only son, begotten son, and come to him and, you know, also kill him as well. So if he wants to battle me, he um, should wait. When I, I, I finish dealing with his son, you know, spanking him well and making him learn A, B, C, D, then I'll come to the father so we can drink some agbeteshi. <laughs> also made it clear that you once defeated Shatawali 10 years ago. Uh, how sure are you that history is going to repeat itself this time? Um, may I also unmask myself for now? Because the social distance has been uh, two meter, about two meter. <laughs> uh, the thing is that, I mean, this is a new day. This is another time to, you know, clash up again like we did once, but for a different cause, for a better cause, you know. Um, I miss a better something, you understand? So for me, I think that it's only a reminder of where we all have come from, you know, if I keep mentioning 10 years ago. And it's only beautiful that today we are international artists who have actually fought and been real with it, and you know, but today we fought for Ghana music, literally, because what did we do? We're all musicians and we fought as musicians, and I brought the Ghana music scene this far, so why not? Um, we're gonna get on again, and this time, you know, for Corona, for the reasons of Corona, so we will clash, and Ghana will get entertained. This is a clash that will not make you feel any pain, because when music hits you, you feel no pain, so no matter how hard it hits, the harder it hits, the more you enjoy. So this is one of those. The Boom Shatter and Bean Nation, um, how do you feel about tonight's event, and do you think it will have any significance on Ghana's music industry in general going forward? Well, I would say um, the two of us have been able to, you know, raise, you know, the bar, whether, you know, some other people like it or not, you know. Um, what we are just trying to, you know, teach the public is that there are many ways, you know, that we can kill a cat, you know, if we, if we have to, you know. In terms of people don't really buy us in when it comes to dance or reggae, and we want to, you know, put this across for people to know that this is a new business we're opening, opening for the next generation. You know, they're really going to benefit from this. This is no violent or rowdy type of thing, but this is a professional type of clash mm -hmm. that people are going to learn from come the next generation upon the next generation. So, like the same way Reggie Stone said he brought hip life, this is what Stoneboy and Shatawale is bringing to Ghana, yeah. and it's going to benefit the economy. That's all I can say. Mm. Yeah, man, absolutely well said. So... The benefit for Ghana as a whole is enormous. It's, it's, it's uncountable. We cannot get paid for that. You know, if you want to quantify it, you can't because this will save lives. This will go a long way. This will go a long way to make people feel happy and entertained, you know, especially in this corona times. And like you said, we have introduced this and set it here in Ghana and it's going to live on into the generations to come. And I'm glad to be a part of this, you know. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. The music industry has been hit very hard because um, just like everybody else, ours is even worse because not only can we not travel about, but we can't have people gather. If only we could have people gather and not travel, I mean, that would feel a bit lighter. But we are being affected by both. So it's really tough. We can only depend on the streamings and other businesses that we have as business you know, men as well who have traveled in, in, in our line of work. Uh, so now... This is the main reason. They say out of a, out of um, 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 this necessity, this is a, out of a situation brings the need to create. So champions as, as we are, you know, in our own world, have come together to create this initiative to help the economy as well. And it's to go a long way to cure and publicize and raise awareness for the situation that we're in. And corporate entities can also join in. Like I say now, this is a good cause put together by us and Asasi Broadcasting, you know, company and I urge on this platform the only way it can benefit Ghanaians the more is for the corporate world to also get involved 
so that we can sit at the round table, understand, and use our mileages to impact the nation world and, and, and the world at large. Yeah. I have a question for you. Your collaboration with Beyonce has definitely given Ghana music a very wide global reach. How do we intend to leverage on this to push Ghana music further? Well, you know, um, I decided not to even make a speech on this because um, every media person knows how hard, you know, um, I've been pushed, you know, to a certain level that, you know, people thought maybe I would have failed, you know, in my mission. But um, this is how, you know, a warrior, you know, fights, you know. I, I believe um, I didn't come into the music industry to bring any mess, but I'm, of course, setting changes that people should appreciate. So um, a, a, co a collaboration like this, she told you um, what to see beside did, you know, back in the days as it repeated itself. And um, this is what God wants to, you know, tell Ghanaians that, um, we should support our own. And like um, what Stoneboy was saying, you know, this is a time also for people to learn that COVID has taught us how to really cherish our own and support our own. Because now, I think because of COVID, and see what we've put up, and you guys are all supporting it because you believe Stoneboy and Shatawali has something to offer to the nation. So basically, I'll just say, yes, um, people should just, you know, pay attention to whatever we do and support it. And, you know, I believe the government is also opening his eyes to also see us grow, and that's what we, we want. So people should just support us any which way. All right, so of course, uh, two of the continent's <laughs> finest musicians, uh, you have both put Ghana on the map and a lot of people have applauded you for your exploits and what you have done. Uh, it remains the wish of fans that uh, after all the big collaborations, uh, we have two of Ghana's topmost artists work together. Anything in the pipeline? And the, uh, what do you have for the fans? Well, that's a good question too, but um, I would say, you know, me sitting here as Shatawale, you know, uh, I'm doing music business, you know, so um, yes, the fans, they've tried for us, they've, they've supported, they've pushed us to get to a level that, you know, we never even imagined. Um, but um, I believe most of the fans know that we are doing business. So this is the time that we also, you know, reach out to businessmen, investors that think, you know, that when they put money into a collaboration of such nature, um, you know, the country is going to benefit, you know, we, we're going to have, you know, the economy growing, you know, because I think it's about time to that, you know, we look at music, you know, more, you know, as a whole in Ghana, because I believe um, people don't really see the impact that it creates. But, yeah, see, um, people are not only celebrating Shatawali only in Ghana, but in Japan, you know, everywhere across the world, <laughs> just because of one person that I had a collab with. So, yes, Stoneboy has done it with Kerry Hilson, and, you know, it's so great, you know, everyone is supporting it all over the world. So this should tell you that we need that support. So if people want a collaboration from us, you know, they should know that we are waiting for the investors, the right investors to come. Then we're going to have a good collaboration. That's long as, you know, we have it. All right, no formal elections. There's any work for the youth. You know, during election year, usually the youth <coughs> are used sometimes mm. by... Bigger, bigger, those who have influence to foment trouble. Like, any word from you, uh, Stoneboy Shatawale, to your following? Yeah, um, I would urge the youth of Ghana, you know, to know that this is another election year. Um, peace is the way to go. Love is the way to go. And I think it is not the wish of any political party or political leader to plunge the country into, into war or disaster. Because either that as, um, if you do that, then who are you going to be ruling over or for who would you be doing the good things that you promise as a government or even a party? So I, I know that it's not the wish of any, any nation to, to, to fight when it comes to elections. But unfortunately, because it is a struggle for power and, and all these things, you, you find out that people fight. And I just beg the youth not to involve in anything that will bring death, that will bring bad name to the country of Ghana. This is Asasi Radio, and I'm using this platform to also ask them that it's a few days to end registration. If you do not register, how would you even be able to go and vote and choose who you wish to be your president? So this is our civic responsibility that we have to go out and go the final days, register, and come the day we all roll out and vote peacefully. When you team swa now call, team swa now call, because in the end we all wish for a better Ghana, a good Ghana. And I want you guys to also know that we love you guys, and we're going to do especially Beam Natives, Beam Nation, you know, and the whole of Ghana as well. SM fans, everybody's fans, because I believe that those who love our music, um, are, 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 they just love music. That that's why they love us. You know, they, many people don't love us only because we, we, we were sitting at home and they loved us. Music gave us a platform for them to see us, and then it went on to be a personal thing or not. So 
Without peace, we can't, we, can't, we can't continue to do all these things that we do for you. So don't fight election year. I beg you in the name of God. You know, people of Ashaiman, people of the world, people of the Volta, you know, the people that hold me dearest to their hearts, people of the North, the whole of Ghana, please stay safe. Go out there, go do your voter ID. Don't know, I'm mad. Well, I'll say, um, my brother has said enough, but um, all what I'll say is that um, every time there is elections in Ghana, people do complain and say, you know, Ghanaians are going to fight, Ghanaians are going to do this. Um, I, I, I always tell people that our, you know, presidential candidates, you know, are so enlightened to the extent that um, they know how to take care of us, you know. All we have to do is, you know, um, also be patriotic, you know, as citizens and, you know, and be cautious, you know, of the things we say and how we move about, you know. Whether you are MPP, NDC, PPP, doesn't mean, you know, we should hate ourselves, you know. It's time for you to cast your vote and, you know, determine who you want to rule you. So um, it's, 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 it's just one of, one of those things that happens to us, you know, um, come every four years or every eight years. So I would just say everybody should play his or her role well, you know, no violence, you know, because I believe Ghana would never have violence till <coughs> Jesus Christ will come and Kwame Nkrumah will wake up. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.